Welcome everybody to AMF Plainview. It is Sunday evening, February 11th, and we are in for the final five shootout of an LIGBT sport shot event. Let's meet the five survivors on a very difficult Stockholm pattern. Up first, Mr. Sam Cook from Patchog, New York. Sam has a 164 club average getting 41 pins. And up next, Mr. Chris Werbin from East Meadow. Chris has a 159 club average getting 45 pins. And in the middle, Mr. Dwight Dunkley from Brooklyn, New York. Dwight has a 154 club average getting 50 pins. And next up, the best looking of the group, Utris Coleman from Deer Park, New York. We have low standards here. Uh, Deer Park, New York, she has a beautiful 136 club average getting 66 pins. And on the other side of the spectrum, the youngest with the highest average, Mr. Scotty Kemp with Levittown, New York, he has a 186 club average getting 20 pins. All right, bowlers, shake hands and let's get this match rolling. We had a great turnout today here at AMF Plainview. 109 bowlers packed the bowling center. Scores were low. Cut score was 679 in the first squad. Even lower in the second squad, 674. And now we're into the final five where first prize is 1,000, second is 500, third is 300, fourth 275, and fifth is 250. And up first, Mr. Sam Cook. Sam has one title, looking for his second. And he's playing on the way outside, coming up nicely, mixing it up, knocks the seven pin. There's two full pins on the deck. All right, here comes Utris. And she's going Jersey, leaving the three nine. Good start for Utris. Sam Cook's last title was in 2011, so Sammy's ready for another trophy to put on his bookcase. <laughs> All right, here's our lefty in the finals, Mr. Chris Werman. Chris also has one title. He won a major last year for $3,000. Here comes Chris Shot, and he leaves the seven pin. Good bowl for Chris. Oh, but Utris misses both pins. Now she's getting 66 pins and handicap. So she's got the most handicap of everybody. So she can get away with missing a spare or two. Here comes Chris. Let's see if he can convert the seven. And Chris throws that ball in the gutter. So he has an open. Chris getting 45 pins. All right, here is the better bowler. And Scotty Kemp, look like he's got a seven count start, leaving the six, nine, 10. All right, so at the lowest on the handicap is Scotty with 20. He's giving 21 pins to Sam Cook, who's getting 41. He's giving 25 pins to Chris Werman, who's getting 45. Next up is Dwight Dunkley with 50 pins, and the most is Utris with 66. Dwight going Jersey! Don't you dare say 10 in the pit. Eight in the pit. That's about all it was worth. All right, here comes Scotty. Looking to mark in his first frame. Now Scott's got him. Marking every frame really to stay competitive with these bowlers, giving those pins away. All right, here comes Utris. Come on, Utris going Jersey, and she gets the strike! Way to go, Utris! And Utris's brother, Calvin, is behind us. Come get it. All right, here's, here's Sam Cook. All right, Sam with the great approach, very deliberate, goes a little high, leaving the 3 6 10. And his beautiful wife. Cynthia sitting next to us, rooting her husband on. Here comes Scotty. Scotty going to the one board. Goes a little light, gets away with just the two pins. So he's got a nine count. Good 
Great spare for Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Nice spare for Scotty. You have the wrong person. It's Jack and his son is Scotty. You had, it's funny, Taisha, you had him right in the third round. Huh? Go ahead, you're fine. All right, so Scotty Kemp starts off with two spears. Here comes Chris Werbin. Now, Chris opened in the first frame. Let's see if he can get back on track. This ball looks good. Come on, Chris. Again, the seven pin. So, Chris hitting the pocket twice, but cannot get that seven pin down. Now, they're bowling on the 34-foot Stockholm pattern. Cup scores were pretty low today. Even the squad leaders were in the 710s. And one squad, 692. So, spares were at a premium. Here comes Sam Cook. This one looks good. Ten in the pit! Nine in the pit. Yeah, that was a good shot. I'll give it to him. Way to go, Sammy Man! <laughs> Sammy's been a member since 2010. Looking for title number two. And Chris Werbin learned his lesson, made the spare. Way to go, Chris. Chris works over at Carol Lane's. He does a lot of their marketing, especially on the social media. Does a great job. All right, third frame here. So Dwight Dunphy finishing up frame number two. So. Ten in the pit, well, in the pit. nine on the deck. Way to go. That was a good shot, Dwight. So Dwight Dunkley starting out with the big double. Dwight getting 50 pins, so he is taking the very early lead. Way to go, Dwight. All right, Utris up on the right. Utrecht from Deer Park, New York, has been a member of the LIGBT since 2013, and Chris has been a member since 2016, and both have won title. All right, let's see how Chris does. Working off a spare. He's hit the pocket twice. Trips the six pin. Way to go, Chris. So he's put all three balls in the pocket. Oh, I know what this is. This is the eliminator. Now, is that a different form of the bucket you just left? <laughs> yes. It's the one, two, three, five. That's the uterus bucket, we're going to call it. <laughs> now, she was on a strike, so she doesn't lose any wood. Come on, uterus, throw a strike ball. Oh, no, she chops the three. Bad break. A good try at the conversion. All right, Utris, always a slow starter, but a big finisher. All right, Scotty Kemp. Let's see how he's bowing. He's way over to the right, playing the edge. And there he is on the one board, ripping the rack, 10 in the pit. Great shot, Scotty. He's got his first strike of the match. Now here's Dwight Dunkley, starting off with the double. Dwight from Brooklyn. He's been a member since 2010. So he's been with us for eight years. Come on, Dwight, looking for a triple. He likes it. Ripping the rack, and he gets the strike for a triple. Dwight's title came at AMF Babylon in 2013, so it has been five years since he's been in the winner's circle. But he's hoping to change that tonight. All right, fourth frame. Match going quickly. And in that frame, everybody struck except Beatrice. Here comes Sam Cook, so he's looking for a double. Oh no, the big six, the four, six, seven, ten. Oh, Sam, a little slow on that. Now here comes Utris. Come on, Utris, looking for a jersey. Come on, Utris. Leaving just the five pin, good shot. Utris, every time she pre-registers online, she always says, I'm gonna win this one. Well, her dream might come true today. She is in the final five shootout. 
All right, Sam. Getting the two pins smartly played as he was on a strike. So Sam has his first open in frame number four. All right, Utris. Going to make all, all over that five pin. Nice spare, Utris. Way to go. Let's see if Chris can double. Chris has pulled three frames and put all three balls in the pocket. Let's see how Scotty does. Scotty playing that edge. Oh no, this one he tugs. This one he tugs and gets the four pin. He was hoping for a trip. He definitely pulled that ball about three full boards. And on the shorter pattern, it's tough to hold pocket. All right, Chris looking for a double. This would put him right back in the match. This ball looks pretty good. Come on up. Oh, a little light. Leaving the 3-5. Hey, Scotty. Uh-oh. Oh, it holds. Way to go, Scotty. Thought he pulled it a little, but he must have used the hard shell ball. So good spare for Scotty. Scotty's cleaned through his first four frames. Silver bullet. Thank you. Oh, he avoids the chop. Way to go, Chris. So great. Marks in his fourth frame. Dwight Dunkley now going up for his fourth frame. He's just started out with the first three in a row. Sam Cook up on his fifth frame, working off an open. Sam Cook, this one could go a little high, and it does. And he leaves a five count. Wow, he leaves a three, six, four, seven, ten. Three, four, six, seven, ten. But that is, con that is makeable. Sam's good enough to make that. He doesn't lose any wood because he was on an open frame. A big shot for Dwight. And he increases lead. Hold oh, going high. Oh, he breaks up the split, leaving just the 4-7. Had the 6 up there for a moment. All right, Sam Cook is going to get his wood. So Sam playing it conservatively. That gives Sam two consecutive opens, and he's finished through his first five frames. All right, here comes Dwight. And Dwight is all over that spare. Dwight Dunkley looking like a pro today. Way to go, Dwight. Nice spare in frame number four. Comes Utris. Utris, this one's got a chance. Come on, Utris. Oh, in the pocket, leaving the 5 7. Utris really throwing a good game, just not getting the pinfall. Of course, Swerbin, besides having an LIGBT title, also has a, uh, a title in the Great American Seniors run by Bob Steffen. Here, Chris Werbin looking like a champion now. Strikes in the fifth frame. All right, let's see if Utris can make the split. She's got a chance. Good try, Utris, getting the five pin. So Utris with her third open in five frames. All right, here comes Scotty. Terrible. All right, Scotty, throwing a ball. This one looks good. Oh, oh, nine in the pit, leaving a stone date pin. Oh, boy. That means the, the lanes owe Scotty a, a break in some time this game because that was as good of a shot as you can throw. All right, here comes Dwight Dunkley, our early leader. Started out with a triple, came back with a spare, so he's in his fifth frame. Dwight, gonna go a little wide here. Ooh, getting the six count, so he loses four pins in wood. 
Scotty Uchi comes down with his dad, Jack, who bowled in the Grand Masters today, so we didn't compete here. And his brother Justin also bowls with the LITBT. And but Justin runs the pro shop at Levittown Reigns. Good spare for Scotty. Way to go, Scotty. All right, we'll give you a heads up after Dwight finishes this spare conversion. We'll take a look at the scores and see where we're at. Right now, Dwight Dunkley has the ha lead at halftime. And this spare looks pretty good. Well done. So Dwight Dunkley staying clean. Let's take a look at the scores. And you can see Sam Cook. 115 with an open in the fifth. Chris Werbin, 114 on a strike. Dwight Dunkley, 144 on a spare. Utris Coleman, 129 with an open in the fifth. And last but not least, Scotty Kemp, 98 on a spare. Getting back to the action, look at Sam Cook leaving an eight pin. All right, here comes Utris in frame number six. Go Jersey! There it is! Utris back in the game! Way to go, Utris! Utris bowls out of Farmingdale Lanes. She is a retired lady. Sam Cook on the right bowls out of Bowl Long Island and Patchogue. LIGBT will be visiting that center for the first time in many years over in Patchogue in March. Nice spare for Sam. Way to go. Sam is a part-time pastor since he's been retired. Uh-oh, looking go away wide. He went a little wide. He again cannot knock out that two pin. Now, LIGBT will be back in action next week. Now, it was originally scanned at Herald Lanes. We have changed it to avoid a conflict. Move the Herald Lanes tournament to Sunday, March 11th. But we'll be at Levittown Lanes for five-game nighttime marathon on February 18th. That's President's Weekend, so everybody should be off on that Monday. Oh, he breaks it up. Chris breaking up the seven pin, leaving just the 610. So again, scratch and handicap marathon, 1,000 first prize, 500 second. $80 entry fee. Good spare for Scotty. That's over at Levittown Lanes. We did this one on Nighttime Marathon Martin Luther King weekend and did 111 entries, hoping for another big crowd. We hope you can join us. Then the following week, February 23rd and 5th, we are at AMF Wanto for a $2,000 first prize tournament, two-day event. Hope to see you at both. All right, Chris going wide, making the spare. Nicely done, Chris, in his six frames. So... Sam Cook getting up quickly. In his seventh frame, Dwight still has his sixth frame to complete. Sam shot a 698 in the second squad at three o'clock to advance. All right, Sam, does he get the ball long enough? Ten in the pit, nicely done. Sam, send it a little longer. Way to go, Sam, as he kicks off seventh frame. All right, here's our leader, Dwight Dunkley. Dwight started off with a triple and hasn't relinquished any part of that lead so far. This bowl looks pretty good, a little light maybe. Yes, a washout. So the one, two, one, two, eight, ten. So this could give an opening and bring everybody a little closer. But Dwight can make this one. All right, here comes Chris Warbin working off a spare. Chris looking good, coming alive, ripping the rack for a strike. His best ball of the match. Way to go, Chris. Chris shot a 692 to lead the one o'clock squad. So he got a buy in the first round. And then he shot a 254 in the second round. Got a shot, oh, good try, Dwight. Good try, but he gets his first open frame. So now the only clean bowler is Scotty Kemp, which is what you would expect as the highest average. All 
right? The uterus. Starting her seventh frame on her strike. This one's gonna go Jersey. Does she carry? Oh, a fast eight. 6'10. All right, Dwight Dunkley will be up on the left to finish up his seventh frame. Dwight qualified with a 680 at 3 o'clock today. Three seniors are in the final. Final shootout today. Well done, and as you can see, one woman. All right, Utris all over this. No chop now. Yeah, Utris converting the 610. Well done. All right, Scotty Kemp. Scotty's got to start stringing a few. And he certainly has the ability. He has left three consecutive nine counts. All right, Scotty, again, playing the way outside line. This one looks good. He's got a chance. Ten in the pit, Scotty. In frame number seven throws his best shot of the day. All right, Dwight Dunkley finishing up his seventh frame. Good match so far. Dwight's been the leader, but he had an open in this last frame. This ball looks better. And he's ripping. The, oh, no. Leaves a 4-5. So, again, this could open it up for everybody else. Sam Cook now kicking off the eighth frame. He's working on a strike, hoping for a double. All right, Sammy Man, this looks good. Oh no! Leaves the bucket with the seven pin. Sam just didn't get. <laughs> just could not get that ball to finish. He thought it was good, so did I. Now, can Dwight Dunkley park the car here, folks? Let's see. And this is going to be a little right, so he has the second consecutive open. And we have got a ball game, folks. Chris Werbin could actually take the lead with a double. Scotty with a double would be down 10 pins. And Sam has his third open frame. All right. And Utris. Come on, Utris, hold on. Utris leaving the 1 3 6. All right, this is for the lead. Chris Worthing can take a seven pin lead with a strike here. So just a few frames ago, he was in the, he was trailing by 30, but the leader has two opens and has given everybody a chance. So we are gonna be in for a great final three frames. Big shot here for Chris. This looks pretty good, come on. Oh, he leaves the seven pin for the third time tonight. But a good shot. So Dwight holding on to that slim lead now. Utris looking to convert. Come on up. Oh, no! She takes out the three pin between the one and the six. We better reread her. Only pros can do that. Whoa. I should get extra for that. You should. That's a talent. You got that right. You're right. All right, let's see. Can he make that seven pin? This one. Oh, no! And he misses the seven pin for the second time. This match is tightening up. So three bowlers of bowl the eight frame and three open frames. So it's getting a little tight. Here's the guy you gotta watch out for in this one. 10 in the pit for a double and look who's back in town. Okay, Dwight, your turn now. Now Dwight has a 10 pin lead still over Scotty. But he could lose that lead if he doesn't strike here and Scotty doubles. So we are in for some finish now. This is Dwight's eighth frame. Dwight rolls out the jib and he's a manager in facilities. Oh, he knocks it out the five. Way to go. Leaving just a seven. Good shot. He works for Brooklyn LIU. All right, Sam Cook now. Foundation frame, ninth frame. Mm 
Come on, Sam, come on up. Oh no, leaving another five count. That's his third five count of the match. So he's playing that outside line, which is a sink or swim shot. All right, come on, Dwight, Dwight needs the mark here. Uh, stay right on the top. And come on back, come on. Oh, his third open frame wow. in a row. Who's leading, Scotty? All right, so Scott Kempf, the one without an open frame, but getting the least amount of handicap has now got the lead with two frames to go. Sam Cook. Oh, great try, Sam, leaving just the 10 pin. Very good shot. All right, here comes Utris in her ninth frame. Come on, Utris. Come on up. Come on up. Rip it around. Utris ripping the rack. So she's still in it. Can go out for 234. Scott Kemp can spare out for 235. Well, he's got to lose some wood. If he spares out, he's got to lose wood. All right, Chris Werbin. Very much in this match. Come on, Chris, going wide. Oh, and he leaves the bucket, but he's on an open, so he doesn't lose wood. All right, here's the man. He, he's got three. He's got three titles. Looking for the fourth title. Strike gives him lead or not? All right, a strike will give him the lead. It'll be a triple. If not, he'll be tied for the lead. This one's going high, going Jersey, and he's still down a stick. Wow, so Dwight Dunkley's gonna have a one pin lead. Going into the 10th frame. You're still in this. You're still in it. You'll be fine. No. Uh oh. Chris going wide, having his third open frame, and that one is gonna be costly. Right, let's first watch Scotty make his, and then there's his spare. All right, now Dwight Dunkley has got a one-pin lead, but he still has to bowl the ninth frame. So, so we are going to be in for some incredible finish. All right, Dwight. Going Jersey! And he, that is a big strike because he doesn't lose wood now on his first shot. Forces Scotty to strike. All right, Sam Cook starting frame number 10. All right? All right, Sam, that ball looks pretty good. 10 in the pit. That's the Sam Cook we know and love. Come on. Come on. Better late than never. All right, here comes Utris. A double puts it right back in. Hold tight. Oh, a nine count. So she threw the ball well, leaving just the six pin. Anything can happen. That's right. Remember, 1,000 first, 500 second, 300 third, 275 fourth, and 250 is fifth. Oh, this one he pulls. Wow, Sam Cook, not like that. Uh, he said that thumb didn't want to come out. All right, Utris all over that spare. Way to go, Utris. All right, so if she throws a strike, it forces Dwight and Scotty Camp to mark. So Utris still can win this tournament. At four open frames, but she gets the most handicap. She's going to finish in the 140 scratch. She'll finish low 200s, 214 with a strike. And Sam the man making the spare as expected. So Sam finishes up with 151 scratch, 192 with his handicap. That will be good for fifth place and $250. All right. Here comes, 
She needs all 10. Come on up. She's got a chance. Does she go? Oh, she gets it. Forces Dwight and Scotty Camp to at least mark. Otherwise, she wins the title. What a finish. <laughs> Way to go. Let's take a look at the scores while we're up here. And you can see Utris, 214 already in the bank. Scotty Kemp. Here's his shot, folks. Big shot. Looks pretty good. Late. Oh, he leaves the eight pin. So now he needs to mark to go ahead of you to get ahead of Utris. And then he also will force Dwight to mark. Here comes Chris. Now Chris. Chris needs a double here. Going a little wide. That's not coming back. And he leaves the washout. So Chris is going to finish in fourth place for $275. This is a big spare here. He needs this to force Dwight Dunkley to spare. And he's all over it. So Dwight Dunkley's going to need to mark and depending on what Scott does on his fill ball Dwight's going to need that count too so we are in for an incredible finish Chris got a chance here Ooh, gets the nine count so he's going to finish up with 199 good for fourth place worth $275. All right, Scotty, what is big here? That looks good. Ten in the pit! So he finishes with 224. He's guaranteed at least second. Dwight Dunkley needs a mark and nine to win. Needs a spare and nine, a strike. We'll wrap it up. So... Seven hours of bowling all comes down to this one frame by one bowler. Dwight on a strike. Strike here in the 10th gives him his title. This ball, he's got a jersey, he's got a chance. Oh no, he leaves a 3 6 10. So he needs to make this mark and get nine pins. A lot of pressure. Dwight. 154 average, so this is got to be very difficult for him. Here's the $500 shot. That looks pretty good. Good shot. Makes it! Dwight Dunkley. Now here's the deal. Nine or a strike is a win. Eight is a tie. Seven is second place. If we do have a tie, folks, ninth and 10 frame roll off. All right. Always an exciting finish with an LIGBT event. Dwight Dunkley needs nine for the title. He's good. Hold on. Oh, we've got a loser, and Scotty Kemp has won the match by one pin. One pin, and Scotty, as a gentleman, shakes Dwight's hand. There is the final score. 224 for Scotty Kemp, worth 1,000. 223 for Dwight Dunkley, worth 500. Third place goes to Utrecht Coleman, 214 for 300. Fourth goes to Chris Werbin with a 199. And last goes to Sam Cook for $250, 192. Not last, fifth. Uh, a fifth place, excuse me. Scam is right. Scotty, take your trophy here. And there he is with the big check and trophy stand up there. And there he is, Scott Camp. With the new trophy from the LIGBT. There he is with his thousand in cash. Congratulations, Scotty. Thanks, everybody, else for joining us. We hope to see you at Libertown Lanes next Sunday night. Good night, everybody.